Hi everyone, welcome to another question on sequence and series. In this question, we are given, we have an AP, A1, A2, A3, and these are the terms are in AP. And then we are supposed to find out the sum of the series, which has one by root of A1 and root of A2, plus one by root of A2 by one root of A3. And then this goes on till the last term being one by root of An plus root of An plus one. So these are the various terms which are given to us, which we need to add. Let's look at them on each and every term on a term by term basis. So the first term is one by root of a1 plus root of a2. Now, if you know the concept of rationalization, what you can do is you can multiply this with root of a2 minus root of a1 in the numerator and in the denominator. Now, why am I doing that? What's the reason? The reason is that I do not like roots in the denominator. I'm trying to rationalize it by having a rational number in the denominator. In the numerator, if I have roots irrational, that's okay. At least I will be able to add terms up, cancel terms. And the question overall becomes easier if your denominator does not have a square root. So let's see what will I get here. One into root of a2 minus a1 will be root a2 minus root a1 divided by root a1 plus root a2 and root a2 minus a1. If you multiply this, this is like x plus y into x minus y, which will be x square minus y square. So this will become root of a2 square, which is a2 minus y here is root a1. So x square is a2 and y square in this case will be root of a1 into root of a1 which is simply a1. And when we do this, my question becomes a lot easier. Why? Because my numerator is root of a2 minus root of a1 as before. But what is a2 minus a1? Please note that this is an AP. In an AP, the difference between two consecutive terms is a constant. Let's say that constant is d. That means a2 minus a1 is d. Not only that, in the next term, when if suppose I get a3 minus a2, that will also be d. In the last term here, if I get a n plus 1 minus a n, that will also be d. Which means in my entire series, what will happen is the first term will get converted to root of a2 minus root of a1 upon d as we have already checked. What will be the second term? You apply the same logic, everything else will remain the same. The numerator this time will become root of a3 minus root of a2 upon d and this will continue till the last term. What will be the last term? Root of a n plus 1 minus root of a n upon d. And this makes my calculations a lot easier. Why? Because a2 and root of a2 will cancel out here. Very similarly, root a3 will cancel out with the next term which will have root a3. Everything will get cancelled except for two terms. One would be the last value which is root of a n plus 1 minus the first value which was root of a1. Everything else will get cancelled and this upon d. And this will be my answer. But this does not help me because I do have some options with root a1, root n minus 1 and all that. But I do not have any answer with the common difference of d. That means I need to eliminate this. How do I eliminate this? Well, to eliminate this, I need to rewrite this a n plus 1 in terms of d and then maybe try some sort of cancellation. But before I get to that, what I need to do is I need to rationalize it so that I at least get a n plus 1. So what do I do? I multiply both the numerator and the denominator with root of a n plus 1 plus root of a 1. And when I multiply both the numerator and the denominator with this, once again, the concept of x plus y into x minus y is applied. What do I get in the numerator? I'll get a n plus 1 and root of a n plus 1. These will get multiplied. So I will get a n plus 1 minus root a 1 and root a 1 will get multiplied. So that will be a 1. In my denominator, the d will continue, but we will have this new term, which is root of a n plus 1 plus root of a 1. So this is the new term that I have in the denominator. 
And now, what do I have in the numerator? So a n plus 1 is nothing else but the first term plus n into d. This will be my n plus 1th term minus a1 in divided by d into root of a n plus 1 plus root of a1. Now notice what will happen, what all will cancel out. a1 and a1 will cancel out. So I have only nd in the numerator. Then d and d will cancel out from the numerator and the denominator. What will I be left with? I will be left with n in the numerator and root of a n plus 1 plus root of a1 in the denominator. Let's see if I have this in the options. Where do I have n in the numerator? First one does not have n in the numerator. Third one does not have n in the numerator. So it means it is either 2 or 4 which have n in the numerator. In the denominator, I should have root of a n plus 1 plus a1. In the fourth one, there is a minus sign. So this is ruled out. In the second one, I have root of a1 plus root of a n plus 1. These were the values that we have calculated also making option 2 as our answer. Slightly long question because of the calculations involved. But if you have done questions in which you needed to rationalize like this before, or if you have done questions where you needed to split the denominator, then this one would be a walk in the park. And then you should have attempted this in the exam. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of future videos.